Hey guys, Chinook here, and today is going to be a bit of a shorter video, probably going to be about the average length for what I'm going to do. So right now I'm just showing some quick highlight clips of a little montage, if you will, me leveling up from like <clears throat> 1 to about 20 fishing really quick. You'll see that there's a lot of quick clips coming in, quick succession. So then I started, to, once I got to level 15, no sorry, 20 fishing, and decided to go kill some chicken. So that way I can get some feathers, and then eventually I ended up getting a beginner clue, so I said, ah, oh, screw it, let's do it. So, <clears throat> got my first beginner clue, read it, tried to figure out the, um, sorry, anagram. Figured out is the wine vendor and drainer. You know, typical stuff. Gives me another clue. Then I said, oh shit, gotta dig behind the wizard's tower. No biggie. So you head over there, do the classic, and then I was like, oh my god, I haven't had a clue, this clue in like forever. I couldn't remember if I had to like, dig above the fairy ring, near the fern, around the fern. Next thing you know. Sorry, I'm tired as shit. I'm recording this at about 1.45 in the morning. I've been doing exams legit all day. So then, uh, well, you know, keep going. Now, I make my way to, Ch to Charlie, and I completely misread what he said. I thought I said just catch a trout. You'll see in a second here. Come on, I'm slow. There you go. It says I gotta cook a trout, but really I thought it was just catch. So, you know, the typical grinding up. Got me uh, some trout. Didn't take too long. Typical, you know, barb fishing. And, uh, long story short, once I finished this clue, I pretty much did that for a few hours here and there on my phone. Not a few hours, but more like, you know, 15 minutes here, 15 minutes there on my phone just to level up the fishing. This was kind of done in the span of like a day and a half. It was more of like, oh, while well, I was writing some like final reports or whatnot for class, I was just kind of playing this on my phone on the side. Then we open the casket. Legendary casket right here. 3GP coming in with the plain old leather chaps. I was so pumped. Was that my like runescape group chat and got shit on hard so then there you go there's a uh, showing me leveling up it got to about i don't quite remember but i think i showed it in a second here i think i got to like 37 fishing and like 35 cooking yeah that's what it looks like 37 35 i think um so that's pretty good i i just did that on my phone here and there because what i was doing is just trying to grind so i could get as much experience as i could so then I started Cook's Assistant, and lo and behold, finished Cook's Assistant in record time, you know, solid about 15 seconds. Completely forgot that you could just give them the stuff. I'm pretty sure in RS3 you have to get, like, special flower, special this, special that. Then I decided to do Restless Ghost, wanted to get that Prayer XP coming in hot, and, uh, you know, coming in record time. We got the ghost, found his head. He flies away because he's like Casper. Wait for and the quest is completed. You know, quick quests coming in hot. So I said, you know what? We should try Vampire Slayer next. I wanted to do it because I said, oh, I'll keep my attack level pretty low because I'm pretty sure that you get like level 20 from level 1. So uh, here's my failed attempt. I pretty much gave up after spending about 10 five or ten minutes doing this because i could just kept hitting zeros and then when i'd finally hit like a three he'd regen it was just super stupid so i said screw that i'm just gonna grind out more feathers so then i said oh i'll get some more feathers we'll another clue scroll so i was like okay let's do it and then i uh, realized that it was saying doric because at uh, this time luckily I got rune light working for this section of the video. So then I said, oh, I already have all that ore banked in my mine, uh, in my mine, in my bank. So why don't I kill two burns with one stone, get the quest done, hand in that. 
So wait for it. Wait for it. Quest completed. I'm popping off right now. So then said I had to go dig behind the wizard's tower. There you go. Now it's like, oh, you gotta go see Buddy and Varrock. He starts slowly walking at about a snail's pace. And then while I was at it, I was like, might as well get the collection log. And I think I flash the beauty real quick because I was really not paying attention. And I was like, where is it? Oh yeah, it's right there, the giant clues section. So as you saw, probably really quickly, I got nothing and I did two clues. So I'm just casually walking. You want to wear it as Rialdo or something? R Rido? Something like that. So then I get the little red orb. And uh, since room light is awesome, I just kept running around mashing the button until it said hot and cold. And then lo and behold, it turns out it was near the Alcarid mine. And then that little button popped up and I went, mint. So I opened that casket. Wait for it. Oh, it's actually not bad. You know, I've got some steel plate legs that might actually be useful. So my game plan is I'm going to keep popping off doing some quests. I want to try to get as many free to play quests done in the next couple days. So that way they're all done. And I'm going to get all the minimum requirements. Like uh, I think I need, uh, actually I think I have them all now. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy. Video is going to be like this. Peace.